Holy shit, look at that. We're here. Everyone's in the right spot. Uh, Are we? I think so. <laughs> it's loaded right. for me, yes. So I don't know for sure. <laughs> I can see that our like, whole box isn't lined up. I like to be in the left spot, though. <laughs> you <laughs> are fired. I am very funny. Bad joke today, you know. <laughs> what I do that to do is add. I don't know. Pulled out some really terrible joke on a stream over the weekend. And I told like you need to give we were playing Swinehander, you need to give me a coordination test or some shit. Yeah. Uh, and it was very much. Uh, he was walking next to a building and I made rocks fall. <laughs> and if he wouldn't have passed it, he would have died. It's just how it goes. That's how it goes. Anyway, hello everyone. Welcome to the goddamn show. I got the dice box fixed because it was bothering me. My phone is making noises, letting me know that we are in fact live. Quiet phone. <laughs> okay. I really hate this. Stop phone. it, Pat. It's such a terrible phone. What'd you get? A Samsung Galaxy A53. Oh, well, see, you should have got the Z Fold like me. Yeah, okay, I don't so. have that kind of money. Uh, <laughs> I don't have that kind of money either, but I got and, it anyway. <laughs> and I didn't want to have to... I'm going to be paying it off for three years. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to the show, everyone. We're here to play some Tales from the Loop. We're getting back to Through the Hedgerows with the Watercolors and Warriors crew. And what did you do? I... <laughs> I got a verification code to my email because I had to reset my Twitch password. <laughs> and I just was frustrated that it sent me another email instead of just letting me log in. <laughs> I can I can tell s stories about useless fucking communications. I changed <laughs> jobs. Beginning of this month, finally, you know, got on the new company's fucking insurance. Ashley and I ran out of our fucking crazy meds because, you know, we had a month no insurance and so the new fucking prescription insurance they keep sending me letters like i got two or three mm -hmm. of them hey just want to let you know we're sending you your card so you can start getting your fucking pills that you know make you behave like a normal human being and uh but they wouldn't send me the fucking cards mm, lovely. i don't give a shit that you tell me you're going to just fucking do it so i feel you on useless frustrating they're gonna send you a lot of emails too. Like they're they're like, hey, are you fat? Would you like to join our weight loss thing? <laughs> they're gonna ask you all the time. Uh -huh. At my old job, they did that shit. Like there's this whole fucking program you have to go through. Uh, and like, why don't you do it? You get like so much money off every month. I'm like, because I don't need my fucking employer monitoring how fat my goddamn ass is. That is my business <laughs> and my business alone. Chuck's, this just ended. Chuck's ass is his own business. It's, my ass <laughs> is indeed my own business. Uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is. I've managed to keep Ashley away from it so far, and we're going to keep it that way. <laughs> anyway, we've got some game to play. Why don't we do some introductions to remind me and the audience who the fuck you all are playing? Because it's been like two and a half years since our last session, I think. Maybe mm -hmm. a month. I don't know which one. You know, I'm real bad at math. What is time? What is time? Irene, hello. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm Irene, and I'll be playing our rocker, Mandy, uh, with the synth. Uh, nope, not synth. The keytar. Keytar. <laughs> I thought she said there. and I was like, this is not that game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but you see, the joke is, the, the thing is, though, there are actually synthesizers, and they are called synths. They are a musical instrument. Yeah. You, you were on the right track. You were on the right track. Yeah, I mean, I knew what you meant. Jamie has obviously played way too much Mass Effect. <laughs> that's the game that's absolutely the game mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, or as it's known in the southern states ass effect 
Uh, but that is besides the point because April is sending me to the signal to stop talking so April can introduce <laughs> her character. April, who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? Uh, also, it's that father daughter connection. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who are you playing? Hi. Tonight? I am April. I am not Chuck's daughter. <laughs> um, I got a couple great am... aunts that don't believe that. <laughs> We, we have very much confused the family. Uh, I am playing Nikki. She is a little troublemaker that likes to carry little things of weed around in her pocket. As one does. Huh? All right. And Jamie, stop stuffing your face and introduce your character. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. I had to work late. Um, I'm Periwinkle. Yeah. Nice. What are you eating? Curry. Oh, nice. Okay. Curry is good for when you're in a hurry. You know, I need you to make a test for me. <laughs> Starting off strong tonight. Uh, off strong. Mm -hmm. This is going to be Don't a, forget those give things. Me a move Free test. Rules. Give me a move test there, Mandy. Uh, move test. Do you have the moves like Jagger? I do have the moves like Look Jagger. Bullshit. Two successes. <laughs> You're standing there in the middle of an empty field and a bunch of fucking rocks fall out of the sky. <laughs> but, like, you see something shiny on the ground and go to pick it up. And it's because of that the rocks land harmlessly next to you. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Perfect. Anyway. So, yeah, last session, you all went to parent jail. Saw some really fucked up shits. Uh, managed to convince... Uh, convince all of the locked up adults that young is a state of mind and you persuaded them all through a powerful musical uh, kind of a performance from Mandy and youth started to win and they all started to revert in age and they were able to escape and as you were all of you uh, you headed back to the camp around the uh what is the name of that damn rock? It's the Rock of Warning. Yes. Where you returned. Bobette's husband, who you rescued from parent jail. His name was Jimothy. Uh, to Bobette. Bobette disappeared happily. You have now rescued a bus driver and three children from this place that you are trapped in. As you took a night to rest, you then headed off mm -hmm. through the hedgerows again. No. I thought you were talking to me at first. I'm like, no, that is what happened. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, you push through the rows and you see you're in a bright field open wide uh you can see like daisies sprouting up here and there you can see blue sky above you uh fluffy white clouds just drifting along carelessly you see this field is surrounded by the hedgerows that you're so familiar with at this point uh but standing in the center of the field you see a large stone doorway uh, very like Stonehenge-esque. Uh, uh, just this big stone door covered in moss. I've got so many looking journal entries open. With this big stone door with a very clear like brass doorknob on it. And as you're standing there, you see a, a boy. Young boy, you're guessing five, six. Uh, dressed up in Sunday best Western gear, like the big, nice, tan cowboy hat, the skinny cowboy jeans, uh, the pointy cowboy boots pulled up over the jeans, and that classic... We'll, we'll get there. That classic, <laughs> and I know you all can see this in your head that white long sleeve button up shirt with the powdered blue pinstripes buttoned all the way up to a little bolo right up there 
just standing there, just looking at the door, giving a little kick every now and then. Uh, that work? Seems frustrated, lost, confused. You're not sure, but you're a ways out from him. What do you all want to do? Well, if he's just standing there kicking the door, looking real confused, I suppose Nikki. He's like kicking oh. the dirt. Oh, ticking the. Oh, sorry, I misheard. Yep, that's fine. Uh, looking really forlorn there. Uh, Nikki will walk over, just kind of shoves her hands in her pockets, be like, "Hey, kid, are you all right?" Well, holy shit, Nikki, it's you. <laughs> oh God, dang! Oh, here's Mandy. Here's Harry Winkle. <gasps> Jimothy. No, I ain't Jimothy. What the hell are you talking who is, about? Who is this? Who am I talking to? Uh, you don't recognize this boy at all. Oh, oh. truly, we haven't met yet. No, nah, no, nah, don't give me none of that. I've been through enough of that. We done met. We were on the same bus. <clears throat> Everything. Okay. What's your name, kid? Uh, this kid would give you the name of, um... We're going to go Franklin, because that's a fun name. Well, I'm Franklin, and Franklin you would recognize as the name Franklin is one of your fellow ghoul scouts. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Andy, what are you doing out here? Well, you know, after I washed up on the shore, and I got to walking, ended up here and there, and then I heard rumors that there's this door, and if you go to the door, and you knock, and if you can get the lady to come out, she'll uh, she'll grant you a wish. Well, the thing is, is I spent, goodness gracious, maybe two or three months here already. And eventually the door opens, and it's just black through there. And then it just everything went out I must have passed out or something but then when I woke up well now I look like this and like you recognize the name you absolutely do you, they've told you that like the bus and everything no one else no one else has given you this kind of information but physically you do not recognize this kid yeah mm -hmm. when I woke up I look like this it, I wasn't me no more That's secretly your wish. <laughs> What's that? What do you Did you those? secretly wish to be someone else? Well, no, I didn't. I was going to wish to go home. But, uh... Just the door open. There was no one there. I heard there's supposed to be a lady on the other side of the door. But she, uh... She wasn't there. It was just, you know, dark. Uh, I passed mm. out, and I woke up, and the door was closed again. Yeah, now I look like this. You've been out here for months? This door? Mm-hmm. Are you eating enough corn? Everything okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's not a problem. Uh, you know, Jimmy, uh, he comes by every now and then when he's heading off to Aquaburg, and he gives me a delivery, so I got plenty of corn. I hate corn. I really do. Probably never eat it again after we get out of here, huh? Not, not once, not ever. Yeah, I, 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 I empathize with you here, bud. I am, I tell you, I am some kind of like machine gun when I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> They're back. Uh, here, you gotta hand the job somewhere. <laughs> no, I just go park my rear end through the hedge maze and let whoever's on the other side have it. At it. <laughs> It goes where it needs to go. It goes where it needs to go. I haven't found a pile of dirty corn anywhere yet, so I'm we're okay. Oh, we lost our read. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. Done. So yeah, I just spend my days here. Now hoping that if I ever see her, I can wish for my actual body back, and I guess I'll figure out some other way to get out of here. Who's this lady supposed to be? You I don't know. Monsters. I just said some lady. Go away. Go. Go. 
This yeah. is a little off topic, but just imagine the next time we go to the cornfields and we just see a butt hanging out of the sky. <laughs> That's all I imagine because the corn goes where it needs to go. Anyway, I digress. Um, <laughs> I digress. Um, so a lady, you're waiting for the lady to come through the door. How are you sure she didn't come through the door the first time when you passed out? You know, she might have. Mm. I can't guarantee mm. nothing. She might have, you know, door opened. I saw it. Passed out. Woke up. Different me. Door was closed. I haven't been able to get the door open again since. What have you tried? Are you just rapping on the door i what? have tried so many things i banged on it i've kicked it i've tapped lightly i've just given one rap one hard rap one soft rap thrown my body against it Something have you works. tried asking nicely excuse me door would you open the hell up that's not nice i'm a little frustrated i would invite you Understood. to try how about I try? So Nikki will walk up to the door. Oh my God. Kind of go. <laughs> Fight, go that away. Cat. Fight that cat. <laughs> Have it out. She'll kind of plant her feet and wipe the dust off of her jeans and kind of fold her hands behind her back and go, excuse me, door. Pardon me. Would you, would you mind opening, please? We have a question. No response. Nothing? Okay. So she'll just like flip off the door as she turns around. Has anyone else attempted to open this door in the time that you've been out here? Or has it just been you? So far, you know, I've seen oh, some other people come and go. Uh, they don't oh. stick around quite as long as I do. Of course, none of them ever got the door to open. Did they try? I mean, yeah, they knocked, they asked, they kicked. They, uh, okay. you know, one kid even came out here with a hammer and a chisel. There's one time there was an adult came out with a pickaxe. Hmm. Should one of us try knocking on the door? I mean, it's worth a shot. Yeah, you go, uh... So Explain to me. What does custom say? You know, how do we, uh, how do we knock on this? How do we go about knocking on this door? I uh, listen. I have knocked every single way I can imagine knocking. Okay, but the time that it opened, how'd you do it? I don't remember. Having passed yeah. out directly after that, my memory was a little fa a little foggy, a little bit. Walking around in days, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Hmm. Let me try. I think Nikki was like, one more time. And she'll turn around, walk up to the door, and she's going to do a cop knock. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, the like the real, like, yeah, she's going to try that and go, open up. Okay. So you walk up. How many times do you bang on the door? Uh, Four. Okay. Bang on the door. One, two, three, four. You scream, open up. And nothing happens. Okay. Is there anything particular around or near this door that we should be paying attention to? Go ahead and give me a, an investigate test. Okay. Uh, it would help if I had my character sheet open, huh? That sometimes does. There we go. It's only vital to the game or whatever, oh, I guess. Wild. Yeah. Uh, yeah, searching it. It's moss covered, right? There's no surprise there. You can very clearly see it. You don't see any hinges on the door. You move around to the back and it, it looks identical. You don't see any hinges, but you see this very nice, ornate, like think like Victorian style brass doorknob. Um, you know, they're lined up on each side. So like a regular doorknob, um, the the other thing that you notice is there's a lot of heavy wear on the grass around it you can tell that there's been a very large amount of foot traffic around this door 
probably for a very prolonged period of time because not only is like the grass worn out uh, it's like it's got that divot where the dirt has been compacted around it um, but despite all of the grass and the dirt being packed down around the door like these vines they don't actually connect to the ground in any way they just build up onto it uh, you don't really, like, you know, like, you see, like, in, like, some national parks, like, there's that part on a trail where everyone always rubs their hand, and you can see that big groove starting to wear out. There's nothing like that on this door. Like, sure, it looks like rock that's been exposed to elements over ages, but no sign of, like, you know, grooves where people have been touching it or knocking on it or doing this, doing that, nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Thought. Interesting. Everybody's always trying to um, knock on this door. Has anybody turned the handle? I mean, if you say that out loud, he's like, yeah, I done jiggled the shit out of that handle. I pushed, I've pulled. I've turned. I mean, like, it feels like a handle. Like, it's got, like, a spring. Like, it snaps back into position. Has anyone tried picking the lock? There actually is not a keyhole under the knob. But I mean, you don't have to do it that way. You can like slip on you, shimmy the thing or whatever. Maybe not. Well, I haven't, but I listen, if you want to give it a go, you're more than welcome to. Uh, and <laughs> Periwinkle, if you did want to try this, uh, this would be a tinker test. Mm -hmm. I'll tinkle around with it. Oh, no. <laughs> Why is the doorknob wet? <laughs> so this is a... A slightly unfair test, uh, but you fail. Because uh, it's... Yeah. <laughs> you fail, but you confirm that forcing I can't the break door... It. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I hit the wrong button. My bad. Uh, I realized that you could see my green Zoom chat light right over, right there, right there, and it's gonna bother the shit out of me. So I gotta move my. <laughs> I gotta move me real quick. Breaking things. Now. Yes. I think at this point, Nikki would turn to Franklin and be like, "Have you tried knocking on the door with?" your wish in mind. Is that what you did the first... Well, yeah, I guess you said you didn't remember what you did the first time. Well, I remember what I did the first time, which is I just gave, you know, a <laughs> couple light raps, very polite. Uh, but what I did the time that it worked, I listen, I couldn't tell you. Mm -hmm. I mean... Listen, I am at a loss for words right now show you all what I have to live with right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, you it's go away proof. too. It's proof mm -hmm. that it's not you ruining the chair. Yeah. She comes every morning and sits on, you know, daddy's lap. She's like, I'm not sitting on your lap. I'm going to try to drink a drink and then I'm going to get mad and scratch the shit out of you. Oh my gosh. Um, how many of us were on that bus again? Uh, grand total, uh, there were 13 kids, along with Mr. Hallisey, the bus driver, and, uh, Miss Jeffrey, the troop leader. I want to knock on the door 13 times. You knock on the door? How are you knocking? Hard? Soft? Just giving it a knock, 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 knock. 13 you times. knock on the door. 13 times. And there's a slight scraping noise around the edge of the door. As all of a sudden, the door actually swings open. <laughs> and you are looking at pure darkness. 
Uh, well, I'm going to be shocked and amazed because I didn't think it was going to work. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> I am going to need you to give me a... See in the dark test? I don't know, we'll call it a force test. Air into the void and uh-huh. the void looks back to... <laughs> Piece of force? Yeah. I was really forceful. Holy shit, you rolled three dice, you got two successes, you feel this heavy drowsiness kind of like come over you, but you, you manage to hold it off, and as you're all standing there, you can, the rest of you see the door open, do you see Periwinkle right in front of it, Periwinkle like almost for a second like knees kind of buckle, but Periwinkle you regain your composure as someone in the darkness comes to the door. This woman, like Greek statue, made of stone with this giant wreath of like vines and flowers. But the thing that really catches you with her is that she has essentially three faces on her head. One at the front that's looking to you, one off to this side, one off to the other side. And all three of these faces on this head, all very, like, statuesque. No, no emotion to it. Just staring at you, the occasional blink with, you know, stone eyelids. Standing in front of the door. All right. She's staring at you. She didn't walk out. She's just standing there staring at you. What do I do, guys? Well, the polite thing would be to say hello. Uh, hi there. No reaction. Do We're told. Make- hmm? Do you just make a wish? I mean, you tried saying hi. Introduce yourself again. I wish I wish with all my might that what's his name? Franklin? Mm-hmm. We'll turn back into who he's supposed to be tonight. No response. Just for the rhyme though. Yeah. Can you invite <laughs> her for, you know, a spot of tea or something? It's like you don't have to hang out there. Would you like to come out? No response. Seuss, please. Stop it. Doesn't respond to that either. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the cats. Mm-hmm. Get the drink. <laughs> so, standing there staring at you. I just feel really awkward. We don't know what to say. The rest of you, you do see this does. woman as well. Feeling awkward is a free action. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I'd be fucked if it um, wasn't. I think Nikki might try to step through the doorway. Ooh, As you brave. go to try and like move past her to step in the doorway, ah. a stone arm just very gently raises up, palm out, and stops Boy. you from entering. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, I I think at this point, Nikki would kind of stand up on her toes to try and kind of get eye level with this statue and see if there's like anything up close that she needs to notice. She kind of like snaps her fingers in front of its eyes. Uh, You're going to give me an investigate test. Uh, So looking over... Yeah, that'll be an investigate. Snapping fingers in front of her, like you can see that she does kind of like pull back just a little bit. She's aware. Pre-roll. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna push a re-roll. Do I click the re-roll or should I? You can click the re-roll. Just so re-roll if you're, are you using okay. our 800 bank re-rolls? I was. <laughs> Okay, so that was your two going at it. You're looking, but you don't see anything. Uh, okay. You could ask one of your friends to help look it over. Just say. 
uh, she's got. Does she have the same face? Like, is she making the same expression on all three faces, or are they making different? All same expression, yeah. Well, did mm -hmm. anyone else? Well, I guess we'll investigate too, yeah. Sure. Mandy, yeah. do you want to take a crack at it? Yeah, I'll, I'll try and. I guess I'll try and investigate as well. Yeah, I failed to to investigate. I'm doing so bad. Look at that one success. There you go. Yay, Mandy. Someone. Uh, as you're kind of, you all three of you kind of move up. Uh, Nikki, you kind of step back just a little bit while you're looking, and she relaxes her arm. Um, but Mandy, you notice that on the side, so you can only see, you know, you can see the front face, of course, and then while looking on this side, you can see, you know, half of one side of the face and then half of the side of the face uh, on the other side of her head. Uh, but you can see that where her ears should be are like gouges, like chunks of stone broken out. She can't hear us because she doesn't have any ears. You're muted there, Jamie. Oh. But he's sighing at her. Do any of you know mm -hmm. ASL? I mean, I mean a little bit. Like <laughs> Does anyone Seems have like a notepad? Something. Yeah. Oh. Can we write a question in down for Tell her in the dirt with a stick or a twig? Oh, there you go. Sure. Yeah, you can find a twig or something, and you get down and write in the dirt in front of her. What do you write? Um, I think at first Nikki would turn to the others and be like, "Should should we try to find her ears? How is how is she supposed to wish grant any wishes if she can't hear what we have to say?" I don't know. Maybe you should just say hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah just write high in the dirt. <laughs> it was on. She gives you a very polite, but very kind of, um, very measured nod. I think next would be, do you need help? Kind of takes a second to scratch it into the dirt. Eyes get kind of big at that. Probably not something she was expecting. Hmm. Nod. A little more, okay. a little more free with this nod. Yeah. Actually, you can see like the ever so slight hint of emotion, like maybe a little bit of puzzled, maybe a little bit of hope. How can we help you? <laughs> yeah, just give like a big shrug, like mm, with what? She points out. Ears. Where? Mm. <laughs> mm. Do you th think maybe they are just gonna be rocks, right? <laughs> well, it wouldn't happen to be around here, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, she could be a very good lip reader. <laughs> there you go. So uh, it's gonna be at about this time, Franklin. She needs ears. Well, shit, I know where you can go for that. Oh. Don't say ears of corn. Nah, that's a terrible pun. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> nah, they, I ran into some trouble with this uh, teenager at the old covered bridge. Uh, his name is Old Herbert Herall. And that kid has this big old string of ears that he wears around his neck. Herall? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now that you put it out there, I can hear the pun, and I ain't liking it. <laughs> There's a small <laughs> child. Rosie, you. shouldn't you be in bed? <laughs> Go on. Okay. All right. So Damn. Robbie Herall. Herall, yeah, at the old. Or uh, Hubert Herall. Hubert. It? Hubert Herall. 
I don't know. I was thinking it too. I must have had some other uh, name in this thing close to it, but uh, Herbert Harold. It does sound really close to Harold. Ears does he have hanging around his neck? Like oh, uh, a bunch. I mean, ears of every kind. No, what I mean. Oh, also corn. <laughs> Yeah, there no, is. ain't no corn on it. I, I saw it up close. Ain't no corn, but like there's people, there's animals, there's other strange things. Are there maybe a set of stone ears? You know, I, I don't, I can't recollect. You know, when I encountered old Herbert, I spent most of my time trying to get away in a bit of a hurry. So uh, if he had stone ears on that thing, I. I didn't see him. Hmm. We better go try to find them then, huh? Yeah. If the hedges will let us, yeah. Right. I mean, it'll take us where we need to go. True. So, consensus, do we want to try and go find the bridge? All right. Well, I'll hold down the fort here. Nikki will scratch. We'll be back in the dirt. Before uh, giving like a little salute. She gives a <laughs> nod and she backs up and the door closes. Mm. Right. Through the hedgerows. Okay. Through the hedgerows. We said the name of the show in the show. <laughs> it's a great marketing scheme on my part because the title of the show is in fact the primary action for locomotion like gone in 60 seconds they were never actually gone in 60 seconds that's a terrible movie title but through the hedgerows listen warner brothers if you want to buy rights from me i am <laughs> poor and desperate what do you mean amazon they own the tales from the loop right oh they do amazon jeff bezos hit me up man you know my name. Daddy Bezos. Jeff is not even CEO anymore. <laughs> oh. Come on, come on, my Chuck. Bad. I, I try not to keep too close a tab on all of the evil oligarchs running our country. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, you all head through the hedgerows. Um, and sadly, players, it's at this point I want to remind you that in fact, Mid Journey was down today. And where I had this fantastic idea for some images to show you at this point, I wasn't able to. So you're all going to have to just use your fucking imagination like imagination. it's like the early 90s. Womp womp. I know Jamie and I were alive <laughs> in the early 90s. I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> April, I think that's a stretch. And Irene, I'm pretty sure that's a stretch. I am, in fact, older than April, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, but no, I was I was uh, I was born in the mid '90s, so you'd be correct. Holy shit! Babies all the time. Yeah, you would know, Dad. <laughs> Listen, as someone who was born in the '80s, I mean, I guess there's a chance for the math to line up. <laughs> Uh, anyway, you all push through the head road. Hedge rows. Hedge rows. Words. Thank you. As you're greeted by this very dark, dreary, kind of like scene, you can hear the sound of running, bubbling water. Very clearly moving water somewhere nearby. Full moon fog over everything kind of thick you know brush small trees as you see this path moving forward in front of you it probably at one point was cobblestone something like that uh, but now as you look forward you see that it initially mm -hmm. uh, eventually takes you to this old covered bridge broken down paints worn out by age as holes in the roof partially collapsed uh, but you can see light of some kind coming from it dark 
orangish, flickering light. Okay. What do you want to do? I think I have good idea. Yeah, I guess. See if we see a certain, certain eerie man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The puns tonight are just phenomenal. <laughs> uh, getting an earful of them. Ah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so... I, I think we should probably try and sneak up to that uh, light there. April, look at you, saving the fucking day, because I forgot to hit fucking enter on Discord announcement again. Haha! -ha! I did the same thing <laughs> last night, god damn it. I got you. Oh my goodness. Go away. Uh, so yeah, I hear a call for a stealth test, which will be a move test. Uh, so, um, Mandy, if you are leading the way, oh shit, there's Jake. Hey, Jake, how's it going, man? Telling it how it, yeah, how it is. Yeah, Mandy, you get to lead. The other two are assisting you. Uh, you'll get to take a plus two on this. So I think if you, yeah, just click on it in the bonus die, put uh, two there. I think this would be a sneak test. Yeah, uh, move test. Move test. Okay. Look at that. Nine and no successes. Um, I would like to spend a re uh, We've got reroll. Enough. We've got enough. Please do. There we go. Oh. Much like, better. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Three successes. The three of you can easily sneak up to this <laughs> go away. bridge. Um, what's your, you know, what's your attack vector here? Are you just sneaking up the road? Or are you moving off to the brush on the side? What's the plan? Probably to the side and through the brush. That seems sure. the more more logical yeah. of the ones. Most cover, yeah. So yeah, you all kind of squat down low. You're moving through the brush, kind of underneath and between some of the lower bushes here and there. Uh, and as you're moving up closer to the covered bridge, you pop your head out every now and then, uh, take a look and you can see that the light is not coming from the, the bridge itself. So think like very much like Beetlejuice, that old Pennsylvania style bridge where it looks like someone just took a fucking barn and made it into a bridge over a river. Doing okay, Jamie? Mm hmm. Okay. That end is swirling Sorry. your marshmallows. I'm watching my cat. Okay. This is driving me crazy. I'm like, go away, Coco. <laughs> okay. Uh, Listening, paying it in. As you close in, You can see that the light's not coming from the covered bridge. It is coming underneath the bridge. And you move a little closer to the, like, to the banks of this dark, you know, this muddy looking water and this river flowing through. It's wide, but it doesn't look shallow. And you can see that someone has made what looks like essentially like a, um, you know, very makeshift, very, rough more in line with like a beaver dam than like just piles of wood and debris just stacked on stacked until eventually they had a surface and you can see this small you know uh small little village small little town couple different little shacks under here um fire going in the center of it built up on this mound of dirt uh you can see a handful of very rowdy looking teenagers, uh, but you can also see um, there are cages hanging. Think like very much like those those hanging cages from like Skyrim dungeons where it's, you know, 
a big angry looking bird cage hanging from the ceiling. You don't see anyone in them, uh, but this does not look like a friendly place. Good thing Mandy's super sneaky. Yeah, good thing that we also happen to secretly be teenagers. True. Well, I mean, there's nothing against the law of being teenagers. I mean, you can openly be teenagers, just don't be an adult. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll fit in here. You might. Just have to have the spider. <laughs> So what do you want to do? Uh, I'd like to, I guess, since I guess I'm leading things, um, I'd like to pick up a rock. Like, is there a rock I can pick up and oh, yeah, just like yeah. chuck it, chuck it away from us to like make a noise on the other side? Sure. Yeah. Uh, no need to roll for this. You're just throwing a rock to make some noise to distract him. You find a, a decent sized rock, maybe a little smaller than like baseball sized, and you heave arc up in the air over the bridge. It's a good throw. And you hear the heavy splash and a clunk on the other side of the bridge uh, as you, you know, very easily threw this out, cleared it, and got some decent noise out of it, as these teenagers, they all stop, and they get up, and you can see that there's five of them down here. All of them look, like, straight out of, like, 1980s, like, Eddie Munson, like... Lost uh, Boys looking crew. Yeah. Uh, they all kind of hop up, you hear a couple, like, hello... Uh, as they all kind of looking uncomfortable, you can see they all lean down and they kind of pick something up, leaning on some of the houses next to them. And you can see they are, um, they're armed. They've got weapons. Uh, all of them look very homemade that you would expect from a teenager, like, you know, a lead pipe with some chain wrapped around one end. Uh, you can see a board with nails through it, stuff like that, uh. Uh, as they all kind of move over, kind of closer to where that sound was, you can see that they're watching, they're paying attention. Um, what do you want to do during this time? Are you just waiting to see what they do and then letting them go back to what they were doing? They're looking uh, pretty on edge. Yeah, that basically want to, I wanted. I basically wanted to see like, like it sounded like there's supposed to be, like, be only one person here, but if there's a gang of people here, there's that's a different there. story. Yeah. Well, you so, heard specifically that Herbert, old Herbert Huber, or fuck, Herbert Hurall, goddamn names, uh, had the necklace of ears. You're not sure which one that is from here. You're too far out, and it's even yeah. at the light of the fire. You, you can't get a good sign on that. Uh, yeah. But you heard about him. But yeah, there was definitely no mention of others, but there was also no mention that he was alone. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I guess the yeah, right now I just wanted to see what, what they'll do for the moment. If um, so they all kind of like they move over. They got their weapons. There's some shouts. There's some yellings. After a good 30, 40 seconds, you can tell they kind of lose interest. One of them like picks up a chunk of debris, maybe an empty beer bottle or something and chucks it in that direction. You hear the splash of it hitting the water, that boom. Right. As they, like, yeah, that's what I fucking thought. And they go back to their seats around the fire, just having a night to themselves, just, you know, being rowdy teenagers sitting around a campfire. All they're missing is a boom box playing some Iron Maiden or some shit. So, uh, and so, Manny's going to look at the other two. Uh, so, do you have any ideas for how to uh, approach this situation here? I think they look friendly. I think we should just go introduce ourselves and be like, Sup, bros? Can we join your gang? I have an idea. What do you got? Weed in my pocket. Teenagers I was thinking own. about that too. I was like, you know, I'd make a great trade later when we want some ears. <laughs> like, listen, guys, I got something real good for you. You know what? That thought never even occurred to me, and that is a brilliant idea. 
<laughs> so Nikki's gonna look at the other two, be like, "Here, I got this. I'm gonna spark it up, and they're gonna smell it. All right, they're gonna they're gonna be able to smell it. They're gonna get a nice deep whiff of it, and we're gonna become friendly with these guys, right? Because we can get our hands on it. Okay, sound good? So, my best suggestion for this is make sure you go somewhere where the wind is blowing on your back to ensure that the smoke goes down to them. Good call. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I mean, you're all fucking ghoul scouts. You know about this stuff. Uh, oh. you, very easily. You know, you can figure that out between the three of you. Sure. Uh, is Nikki, uh, are you going out alone? Or Mandy and Periwinkle, are you going with? Do I have uh, to join? I think Mandy definitely looks like the type. Who Walk behind you and like, you know, we're your we're crew, but we need to be a uh, well, Gruffing dating as possible. Let me, right? let me just picture this in my mind: the trio of you trying to Dorky appeal ass. to the stoners. You have yeah. our our ruffian Nikki actively mm -hmm. offering weed. You have our rocker with a keytar strapped to her yes, back, and then you have the, <laughs> the weird fucking art school student. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a fit, right? Who's yeah. gonna have better stuff? Come on, man. I mean, yeah. they're gonna know what's up. Yeah. I mean, you all play your cards right. You're gonna have these poor boys eating out of the palm of your hands. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You all move out into a position with optimal wind direction. There's the spark of a lighter. That that pungent, sticky smell. As Nikki, you're there, you know, getting there, uh, taking your puffs. As the smell wafts over, and you hear, "Hey, do you guys smell that? The hell!" <laughs> and you can all see because you're you're looking. So, like, I like to always point that reference of. If you're in a light place looking into a dark place, you can't see shit. If you're in a dark place looking into a light place, yeah, you can see everything. It's fine. So you all can very clearly see what they're doing at this point. And they can't see you until, hey, I saw some, or some glow in there. Hey, who's out there? And they definitely seemed disarmed. They didn't grab their weapons. Uh, your, uh, you know, your scent attack was extra effective. <laughs> hey, there's none biological of that, warfare. None of that angry, you know, uh, boisterous activity when they were distracted by the sound. It's very much like, hey, hey, someone what out that? there. Cats are fighting hey. on, the, on the. Hey, I see it. Yeah, come on over here. We got beer. Mm. Yeah, be quiet. I think we'll pause for a moment and kind of pretend to mutter amongst ourselves to make it seem like we're deciding on oh, if we're going to go over or not here. before moseying on down. Oh, shit. Hey, you come on. You... <laughs> puff, puff, pass, right? Only if you trade me a beer first. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, they run over to some grungy looking cooler. And they pull out some, you know, fucking Labats or some, like, really basic-ass <laughs> beer. And, yeah, they swap. Uh, and, actually, you can see the dude who's swapping this for you. Once again, very Eddie Munson, like, that leather sleeveless Beautiful deep soul vest. No, not that kind of Eddie Munson. Uh, the, you know, the, the <laughs> version of Eddie Munson that, well, I knew as a teenager. Jamie, you might. I still have a handful of years on you. Uh, he's got this big, weird. First, you think like uh, it was the the Hawaiian like fly the lay or whatever it is, mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's it's fucking ears. Very gross looking. Yeah, and he hands you a beer. And he reaches his hand out, ready to receive one joint. 
before before uh, we pass it along, we should be like, hey, man, cool necklace. Do we see any stone ears on it? Uh, give me an investigate test. Listen, for your, your interaction test, we're going to... You all have done a lot of good work to bypass some things. You did really bad, Nikki. Maybe it's because you're high. I did really <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Shit. He didn't smoke any of it yet. <laughs> Even on the reroll, I failed. Oh. Also failed, so don't feel bad. You want to reroll that? Hold on. One more person can look, along, look here. <laughs> we are all way too stoned out of our minds to be able to see straight, apparently. God damn. It's been like took an hour around it. Break. All it took. Listen, you're, you give it a little bit of time, maybe better lighting, and you all can try again. Uh, there you go. What was the oh, question that you had asked Periwinkle? I was like, dude, cool necklace. What's that? Oh, yeah. These are my uh, trophies. Everyone that's got in the way of old Herbert Herol found themselves less some ears. Dry them out in the sun on a rock, and then once it's good and crispy like an onion rind, just right on this bad boy. <laughs> Gotta let that's people know how huh, dangerous I am. Yeah, very dangerous. Right, man. That's and right. at this point, Nikki would hand over the joy. <laughs> That's right. Hey, listen. We got plenty of space down here. Me casa es su casa, right? Why don't y'all hang out for a while? Been, uh, it's been some time since we saw some, you know, some righteous ladies like all of you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Not much of a fan of the guitar, but I can definitely, you know, respect it. That's because you've never heard, you know, Mandy's guitar. Uh, it could be. You got some uh, Pat Benatar on there you can bust out. I don't know who the hell that is. <laughs> I also don't know who that is. Uh... <laughs> Aging yourself. <laughs> uh, love is a battlefield. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hit me with your best shot. Yes, that I know. That I know. There you go. Okay, not the name, but the songs. Ooh, yes, the songs. That's a good one. Hell is for children. She got that <laughs> right. Fuck them kids. <laughs> uh, oh, God. I could. Sorry, Rosie. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, <very> cool. <laughs> Um. More like whack than in Tar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Maybe uh, we are. <laughs> you can leave one never said what kind of TV this was. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Incredibles. <laughs> so, uh, I. Maybe not some Pat Minotaur, but um, how about some uh, Deep Purple? Oh, shit. All right. Play Godzilla. Ooh, what we got a raid. Uber Geek Media. Look at that. A raid. Welcome to the goddamn show. We are playing Tales from the Loop, our little homebrew campaign through the hedgerows, which is inspired by Over the Garden Wall. Uh, right now... Uh, our three heroes are bamboozling some rowdy teenagers with pot and rock music. Because, uh, you know, how else do you trick a teenager into, you know, handing over Teenage the people. quest item yeah. that you need from them? Yeah. It would have and... worked on me. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, play some Godzilla. Okay. Uh, so I'll do that. Um, I guess it's a charm. Um, 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 um. Yeah. With my keytar. Oh, no. There goes Tokyo. That's what I was Godzilla. thinking. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you fucking kill it. You fucking... Yeah, you're... 
you're doing a fantastic they are into it they're jamming out um they are very liberally smoking they're pulling beers out if any of your beers even get close to empty a new one is pressed into your hands uh for those of you who don't want to drink it there's more than enough opportunity to uh yeah i mean (laughs) you're on a very crude shitty dam across a portion of river built by teenagers like it's very easy for you to just kind of like reach down and pour it into one of the large cracks um probably better keep ourselves a little sober here that's absolutely fine but yeah Uh, an hour or two goes by these three are blitzed mandy you have just been playing requested hit after requested hit i am not going to say that you were able to play everything they request because these teenagers who very clearly have 80s references probably have some pretty shitty taste in music yeah uh probably when they're like detroit rock city and you're like no no kiss uh <laughs> love gun no no kiss uh anyway yeah hour or two goes by and these three boys are i'm sorry these what did i say four or five however many of them there are there's three of you yeah fucking drunk high all over the goddamn place having a great time uh but you can definitely get the feel that you can see they're kind of um they're wearing down ready to pass out yet (laughs) no i mean they're teenagers they're not gonna pass out i don't know as a teenager who is prone to being very drunk and high sometimes (laughs) Uh, I have definitely <laughs> passed out. That's fair. Old man in the chair with the head back snoring kind of thing going on. <laughs> yep. Someone's going to pass out half hung over a tree. Someone else is going to be over the railing, throwing up into the water. Yeah. So through all of this, have we noticed any weird... Uh, like he, he said he tries the ears out but <laughs> any stone ears that look like they sure. came from a three woman you have had time uh go ahead and give me that investigate each of you gets to take a plus one I am the oh oh I have one. I was like, uh uh-huh. one with two success, one success. Mandy, sorry. Got, not Mandy. Yeah. <laughs> you just you, too soon. Yeah, as we say, you were puffing <laughs> a little uh, yeah, Periwinkle. Mandy, you did good. Nikki, yeah, you're high as fuck. You don't. <laughs> sure enough as He's these boys are up moving around setting back down getting up relieving themselves you know maybe every now and then you guys need to take a break get away from the smoke a little bit here and there eventually you all kind of put together uh, a decent enough kind of uh, visualization of uh, uh, well uh let's just go with uh Zora oh hi I don't fucking know I I just wanted to bring up the fact that as a young teenager I listened to a lot of the Bill and Ted soundtrack I did not know that the song God gave rock and roll to you was a kiss song that they did a cover of from a British song uh at the time, I liked it. Listening to it now, and I'm like, God, this is cheesy. Anyway, you can see that there are, in fact, six stone ears on this necklace. It would make sense because she would have to have six ears. One for each Three faces. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, did you say it was the one around his neck, or was it another place? Neck. It's around his neck. Ooh. 
How's he looking? High and drunk. You know that given enough time, eventually this kid's going to pass out. Can I wait it out? Either that or I have an idea. We could try and lure him away. (sighs) Use your feminine wiles. Exactly. (laughs) Uh, That would be a charm test. All right. You go to that. Come on. Yes. Thank God. Go to bed. Yeah, go to bed, Rosie. Everyone agrees. We'll put some earmuffs on you. (laughs) So, your first pass at trying to lure old Herbert here all the way. He, it's not that you're. It's not that you didn't put the right moves out there. It's the fact that he's a teenage boy and doesn't probably pick up on them. (laughs) Uh, So a little bit of uh, recalibrating, a little more direct approach. And uh, this very, this, this teenager, very bravado, you know, very boisterous very timid and bashful uh if there's better lighting you could see that he'd be blushing uh looks extremely nervous you can see the sweat on his face uh um, he suddenly sober up a bit <laughs> i wouldn't think that i think he's uh you know possibly a little love drunk at this point uh mm-hmm. so he is now a he will very willingly follow your directions how do you want to play this out just Hey, what do you want to do? Like, how are you playing this out? I think Nikki is going to kind of, when he finally catches the fucking gist, she's going to do the thing where she like trails her hand down his arm and like grabs his wrist and just kind of leads him back into like, uh, probably back behind, like in the trees back like away from everyone else yeah yeah Um, uh there's so many stupid and funny jokes that i can make about this but none of them feel comfortable so let's just move past it (laughs) and yeah he um all of a sudden this you know very gruff, tough-looking teenager is, um... He is... Timid, he's nervous, and he very eagerly follows you. Um, you can tell there's fear in his eyes. He doesn't know what the fuck he's in for. Um, and, yeah, you very easily pull him to a private place. Um, are you just going to try and knock him out, or what's your plan here? She's going to conk sure. him upside the head. Sure. Thing. He's drunk and he's, he's crossfaded. Yeah. He's not going to remember what yeah. happened in the morning. Too old. Thank you for those bits. He's there like, bits. yeah, I got it. <laughs> I would tell you what those bits are reclaimable. There it is. My stream output's a little funky right now. That is a luck point. Um, I think everyone is full up on luck right now we haven't used in a little bit so how about this why don't we just convert that into three banked re-rolls because we are the worst rollers you are honestly though you lure him back there he does not move without your direct uh like guidance like as soon as you like get him to like a clearing or something as soon as you let go of that wrist Like, he just stops. He shuts down. He doesn't know how to process. So you're like, go ahead and set down, like, on that log. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, shit. Hey there, Oak. Uh, and he just sets, looking uncomfortable, and you find a large branch. Uh, and while he is got this bewildered look, trying to figure out where you slipped off to, crack. 
<laughs> over the back of the head. He plants his face hard in the dirt, and you are greeted almost immediately by snoring. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, phenomenal. It's at this point that I think Nikki would kind of like at least turn him onto his side. Sure. So if he Keep throws up, he doesn't yeah. die. Yeah. Um, he knows, just knows how this works. <laughs> takes that necklace right off of him, sticks it in her pocket. You now this no? is this is a big necklace. I want to like convey it is Stop it is back, bulky. Back. So when you say stick it into like your pocket, I know how fucking girls' pockets are on their their clothing. Like it's not. Gonna happen. He's got a rocker, like leather jacket going yeah. on. Come on. True. If you've got that or some other pack, sure, not a problem. Yeah. Perfect. They did have her backpack. Um, backpack, backpack. The rest of um, Mandy and Periwinkle. As soon as out. Nikki leaves with old Herbert Herol, you can. There is a very a palpable awkwardness uh, on the other boys that are here as they all nervously look between themselves and you two and look at where they went off. They don't know what's going on. <laughs> but they're very uncomfortable and awkward in this moment. Uh, it could you give you a perfect opportunity to excuse yourselves and slip off if that's what you want to do. Um, but that's up to you two. What do you two want to do? Be like, pee break? Pee break. Bye! Yeah. Ladies go in groups. I love you. Guys, yeah. You can't go along. I love you. Yeah, and many will go with... Uh, Oh, I think With Mandy. Periwinkle, yeah. I think. Uh, oh, I think Periwinkle gave the uh, the signal to Mandy <laughs> to listen. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know Time. the symbol for you know group pee break. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. So Mandy is definitely. Uh, that's that's what I was saying. Mandy's definitely going with. Yeah. Uh, you as, know, it's where you stand up and like I gotta go pee, and then you're like, "Aren't you coming with me?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, the two of you move off, and as you do, you see Nikki coming out of the brush victorious with this large branch over one shoulder and the ears stuffed into your jacket pocket. Let's get the fuck out of here before they all become any of the wiser. Yep. <laughs> Good idea. Mm, off into the darkness we go then. <laughs> Throw the hedgerows! Yeah. To, directed to the nearest hedgerow, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stumbling somewhat, you know. <laughs> Just depending on how much we had. We can like lock arms or there like put her. <laughs> yeah, here's that. Nikki will put her arms like around the other two shoulders and be like, all right, let's go, guys. Yep. Um,. Back through the hedgerows you it's go. Let's go, girls. <laughs> <laughs> As you push your way through the hedgerows, on the other side, you're greeted to that same bright sunshine, sunshine-filled meadow with the door standing there. Uh, and once again, uh, a name that I've forgotten, Franklin. Because Franklin's a fun Little name. Little Frankie right? boy. Franklin sees you and he comes trotting over. Y'all made it back. I was awful quick, are you? We're a little stinky. <laughs> oh, God. Y'all hit a skunk or weird. something? Yes. Something like that. Got sick of corn. Had to eat some meat. <laughs> That's disgusting. Listen, <laughs> I grew up on a farm and I know sometimes. Hearing stories about your uncles and your grandparents eating some weird things. Listen, you ain't eating skunk. You ain't eating raccoon. Because uh, they got these weird stink glands all through the meat that you got to spend a lot of time cleaning out. Now, rabbits and squirrels, that's a different story. But I digress. Did you get the lady's ears? 
So at this point, Nikki will produce them from her pocket, just kind of hold them up, be like, I got the other gross ones, but (laughs) a lot of the important ones is disgusting and impressive. You should get rid of all them actual ears that were cut off of living creatures because that's bound to attract ghosts or some shit. (laughs) I think at that point, Nikki would look at the necklace and kind of like scream and almost drop it. (laughs) (laughs) The adrenaline of victory is worn off. Yep. So I think she'll take a second to get the stone ears off of it sure. and just bury the rest of the necklace somewhere sure. in the meadow. I would actually just throw it through the hedgerow. It'll go where it needs to go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, yeet. You yeet it. Who knows where it's gone? Um, you have the Pretending six stone sleep. ears. So the ears that came off living creatures, they were able to, Oh, shit, Jeremy! Hey, man, how's it going? Uh, the actual ears that came off living creatures had, like, holes poked through them. They were threaded onto the necklace. Stone ears, they couldn't poke a hole through these. Uh, so they just used some, like, twine and wire to, you know, make them like that little fancy wrapping. Yeah, that fancy wrapping. Uh, I don't know what the name of that jewelry is, but I know that wire April wrapping. does... <laughs> Wire wrapping? Hey, is what? that it? it that it's is, just but wire I don't wrapping. do it. <laughs> Who is doing wire wrapping? My best friend does. She's the one that makes all my jewelry. Oh, that's it. I knew wire wrapping involved with you somehow, but I couldn't remember yeah. the details. Okay. Yeah. I have a friend that does it. She's really good at it, too. Okay, cool. You should pay better attention to your daughter. Yeah, God, Chuck. God, Dad. God, <laughs> Dad. You I feel like you love me as much as your other children. That's my damn stop giving. <laughs> no. No. Just drink water. That is mm-hmm. absolutely fantastic there, Jeremy. Can you put the he blade? stabbed a put... robo-Nazi in the taint with a berserk blade. Listen. As you should. As you should. Fuck Nazis. Can you freeze no. the subpoena? Um, no. Why? Because you need water. Yeah, you get the six stone ears free of the necklace. You yeet the rest of the ears over the hedgerows. Now what? You go knock on my door. Knock on the door 13 times. You knock on the door 13 times. The door slides open. This time, whoever knocked on the door, that's there's not that weird kind of effect that you resisted last time, Periwinkle. And almost immediately, the stone-faced woman is there. And you kind of present the ears, and she takes them from you one at a time and just places them back into the spots where they're missing from her head. And they just stick, like, magically, like, immediately, like, they fuse back into how they're supposed to be. She gives you this deep, grateful nod. Now what? She's standing there looking at all of you. Pardon me, ma'am. Hi. A little nod at uh, you. Can Would it be okay if you turned our friend back to how he's supposed to be? How he was before he became what he is now? Little nod. And all of a sudden, you see Franklin just collapse on the ground. And like some invisible force dragging him by the feet through the door, the stone lady steps to the side. And a few moments later, a, the same kind of invisible force drags someone else back out. And you can see that it is Franklin that you recognize from your troop. What is it, Franklin? A moment later... Looks like Franklin, but is it Franklin? Holy shit, Don't guys. Oh, I'm back to normal. That goddamn accent's gone. <laughs> all right, I was wondering. That was oh, you all did it. oh, God, you all did it. Thank you so much. <sighs> God, I just. It's a fucking accent, and I just kept on wanting, like, like fucking chili. Like, oh, those boots, they hurt so much. 
thank you. And he goes up and he gives each of you a hug. And on the last he hug, he turns into a sparkling light and disappears. He turns into a sparkling light and disappears. You Good have job, now guys. rescued four of the children. Five remain. And one adult. <laughs> and one adult. Yeah. All right. The Good fucking work. Guys. Stone woman just stands there staring at you all. We're going to all jump and high five at the same time and freeze frame. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Phenomenal. Um, yeah, so, uh, is there anything else we should be asking her for or about? I mean, I feel like we could cheat everything and be like, can you just uh, fix all this shit? And she's be like, no. Oh. You could ask. Like, can you fix the uh, the Goblin Queen lady? She shakes her head no. But she stands to the side. Now, if I remember correctly from my notes and... I keep really bad notes. You all have one of her cat earrings, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. She stands to the side, and in this dark, swirling void behind her, all of a sudden it kind of comes into focus into this giant cornfield. And in this giant cornfield, it's like a camera. It kind of like zooms through the field, kind of just above the stalks. And eventually you get to this clearing. And in this clearing, there are two vehicles. One is the very large yellow school bus that you all were riding on when it crashed. And you can just kind of see through the, the windows you can see that there is someone sitting in the driver's seat, uh, and it looks like there are four people sitting in the, you know, the seats in it. The other vehicle you see is an old, rusted out, orange Volkswagen Beetle. And the camera moves in through the window of this Beetle, the grimy window spins around in the, you know, the interior and moves right up to the glove box. And you see a little, I don't know if any of you have actually been in an old Volkswagen Beetle, but the glove box to get it open, uh, just like your volume knob that you would imagine on like an amplifier with these flanges up at the top and the bottom so you can grab it and give it a twist as it twists and it pops open and you can see there's the standard kind of like mess of paperwork in any vehicle. But in the middle of that is another one of these cat earrings. So it's in the bug. Mm -hmm. As it goes dark again. There was something about this, what you seek in the bug or think something or another. I actually yeah. have it written down. <laughs> Says yeah. lost inside the great bug, beware the toothless hound. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I suppose. Uh, thanks, nice stone lady. Uh, she gives you a nod and then backs up and disappears into the darkness, and the door closes. Mm -hmm. All right, kids. Stock up on some corn and. Well, if I get well. I guess Franklin pooped Corn. into his sparkle of dust. Uh, d whatever. <laughs> get some corn and head back through. Sure. You find his stash of corn. You reload your food supply, and you all are ready to head back through the hedgerows. As we'll fade out for the night prepared for our next session session six by my count but I can't count
Um, How many videos? <laughs> I'm not going to count it. I have <laughs> session six written down on the note that I just opened in Foundry, but sometimes you all, one note, what I have planned for one night takes two. Sometimes Actually, two nights take one. Oh, look at that. You searched through the hedgerows. Uh, oh, it'd actually be tonight was technically episode eight. Mm. Yeah, we, oh, we, yeah. We did do a couple episodes of the uh, oh, yeah. Quiet Year. So yeah, there's mm -hmm. two of the Quiet Year, then one, two. Uh, then we had our session zero. Uh, so technically, this would be, we just wrapped session five tonight. We'll be back in two weeks for session six. My math was right for once, but in all the wrong ways. Let's do some XP questions. All right. Uh, first <laughs> off, if you participated, you get an XP point. Yay. Uh, have you been in trouble because of your problem or your relationships? No? Okay. Uh, did you use or struggle with your pride? I did. There you go. Yeah. Uh, did you put yourself at risk for the other kids? You know what, Nikki? <laughs> you got high as fuck and wandered into a group of rowdy teenage boys that were living under a bridge. Off alone with one. That sounds <laughs> dangerous to me as a grown ass man, let alone being a, a young teenage woman. Yeah, that sounds super fucking sketch. So definitely. Uh, and have you learned something new? Yeah, you just learned the location of the yeah, other earring. So earring. 100% you did. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're going to wrap for the night. Uh, let's see. Irene, is there anything you want to plug? Uh, yes. Winking Witch Press. Yeah, so I I, I am I developed my own tabletop uh, content, uh, which you can find on uh, itch, uh, dmidb.itch.io, which is the Winking Witch Press um, on itch. We've got short stories there. We got, uh, a couple of adventures for the, uh, for bright hammer there. We've got some, got a solo journaling tabletop game, uh, with a replay on stockbroker there, play with stock markets there, you know, got some cool fun stuff there. Okay. The second link I posted takes you to the right spot. The first link, I accidentally added the dm.idb.itch.io. I clicked on that. My web browser is like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so go to the second one. Go to the second. DMIBD, dmidb.itch.io. Buy some awesome shit from an awesome person. Do it. Or I'm going to send old Herbert here all after you in your dreams. And he is he's just going to take your ears. He's just going to sing it. really shitty kiss at you while he tries to cut your ears off. Um, Honestly, at that point, it would be a blessing. It would. <laughs> yeah. it would. People are begging for it at that point. Like, just take the fucking ears. I can't stand. Uh, anyway, and as far as here on this channel, you're watching Defenders of Cobalt. If you come back tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Central, we're going to be continuing our Dead Sun Dungeon Crawl Classic campaign. Uh, tomorrow night, um, I've got something special uh, in store for the party. Yeah, I like including parody um, celebrities. <laughs> So in the past, the party has fought Figieri. Uh, they have fought and killed Michael, Sarah, James Franco, uh, and then they used magic to accidentally bind Seth Rogen to their will for a little while. Uh, and we've got another celebrity-filled night tomorrow night, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Saturday, we got a double header at 1 p.m. Central over on Grim and Perilous Plays. I'm actually running this through the Hedgerows campaign twice because I'm really lazy and I want to cut down on prep. So I was like, I just run the same campaign two times. 
Um, it's not like the other groups watch each other play or anything. No, I very much specifically banned the other group from watching this. Uh, <laughs> that way they can't get spoilers. Uh, I do have to say that their episode one was equal to like a quarter of your all episode one. Uh, so, so far, as far as keeping that action packed timing, uh, you all have been knocking it out of the park. You need to tell them they're to not pick as up smart the and intelligent as us teenage ladies. There's also uh. six of them, too. So they, they kind of get slowed down a little bit. Uh, but still, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and then they Saturday, didn't start a, uh, sorry, they didn't start a union. Probably they, just going they out. haven't even gone mm. that far. They've just finished <laughs> talking with Remy. Oh, man. Did they love it? <laughs> Kind of. Were they like, oh, so cute? Not as strong of a, a like that you all had for Remy. There was a little bit more discomfort. Like, why is this rat with a shotgun giving us fucking corn chowder? <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate the fine things in life. That must be it. Uh, mm -hmm. What else do we got? Saturday night at 9 p.m. Central over on twitch.tv slash Goodman Games Official. Uh, Bert, um, who was hanging out in chat earlier, I think. I don't remember. I see Maybe, things. who knows? Who knows? Do we see Steam Steel Murder? I don't see him there right now, but I thought he came through earlier. I could have been imagining it. Who fucking knows anymore? Uh, anyway, he is running us through Weird Frontiers. That is Dungeon Crawl Classics in the Weird West, because Bert did all of the editing for that and a lot of the writing for that game, so... It's good. It's very good. It's very good. I don't fucking know. I ain't got anything else. So we'll be back <laughs> for this in two weeks. Don't you fucking miss it because I got to tell you, of all the groups that I fucking run uh, games for, the Watercolors and Warriors crew are always uh, the rowdiest and... Um, the all have got the dirtiest minds, too. Like, the other ones... They don't go where you all go, and it is absolutely hilarious. Sure, Jan. What? <laughs> I didn't hear what you said, and I'm okay with that. All right. We'll catch you all later. I'm going to make sure to mute all audio sources as I put us on the end screen. Uh, yeah, we'll catch you all later. Deuces.